Uh, we are here today in the small village of Bryn D. This is on the uh, western side of Anglesey. We're probably about no more than two miles from the sea. Aberfro is in the distance, but we've actually come to look at the war memorial in this small cemetery. If we pan around, you can see the gravestones and just below us the uh, church or chapel. So the Anglesey countryside is there and here is the memorial. From top to toe and unusually it's just a single column going up with a bead around it and looking in we find the engraved names of the men of this community. All together we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three men called Roberts, all of whom died in 1916. So the memorial itself bears the mark of the neighbouring one at Bringuran where the soldiers are listed along with their homes, um, their regiments, the date and country of their death. We have a Salva Bay on here which was Gallipoli and also the ages when they died. So this is the second time I've seen this particular feature and the Bringuran where the other one exists is no more than four miles away. An inscription on the back from the preacher at the time, the Pach William Morris. Echora Roizoch Kauri Orachiquid Osech Guiamunkin E. Troy Hezuch Tirioni di Anaitha Preduch I Habetha Qui. The word Hezuch, the Qui word of all, which of course is the Welsh word, the cry for peace. As we rise up, we can look over the countryside and just making our way to this again. On the back side, another inscription from the Reverend William Morris. So, with a last look into the distance at the gravestones. nearly all of which carry the uh, home addresses or home location of the person commemorated in the grave, including the one or two here that are written in English. So with snow down here in the background and the sun blazing from this uh, late October sky, it's goodbye to Bryn Dee.